Josiah Gray, the 26 year old right hander, making his 15th start on the year, 6 and 4, 382 ERA. And Zuck, he's got some things to do today. Here's the wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And a slider, he struck him out. First strikeout for Josiah Gray. One out here in the top of the second inning. 2 2 is swung on and missed. Another good slider right there. So back to back strikeouts for Josiah Gray to start the second. And the pitch. Swing and a foul tip held by K. Bert Ruiz on an elevated fastball for strike three. And against Trevor Rogers, who makes his 15th start this season, coming off a no decision against the New York Mets. He failed to go five innings again. A process to get back to being the Trevor Rogers that we saw who made the All Star team. That's a 96 mile an hour fastball that Michael Franco chases and misses. And that is the first strikeout for Trevor. Bottom third of the order for the Marlins against Josiah Gray. The 2 1. Swing a high, high drive deep left field toward the corner. Way back goes Thomas. This one's going to count. And it is gone. A soaring drive about seven rows deep into section 105, giving Miami a 1 0 lead. Anderson's third homer of the season and his first back from the injured list. Now the pitch. And that's high. And that's a two out walk, putting the league's leading base Taylor on the pitch out. We'll see if he runs. He does. The pitch is a strike. The throw by Ruiz. The tag by Garcia is not in time. Pitch to Wendell and Joey hits one through the left side of base hit right where the shortstop would have been. Birdie touches third. He's coming home and it's two nothing Miami. And now Garrett Cooper who flew out to center his first time up Two one is a fair ball down the line. Wendell is headed toward third. It'll be extra bases for Garrett Cooper. Wendell's getting the green light. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. An RBI double for Garrett Cooper. And the Marlins extend their lead. It's 3-0. As Victor played against Pittsburgh on Wednesday and starting against the lefty Rogers, whom he is 3 for 7 against with a double. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on a high fastball. Strikeout number two. For the left hander Trevor Rogers. Ground ball to Anderson takes it on the backhand throws across the diamond and a good crisp one two three inning. Three two on the way. And he walked him. Went outside with a changeup. It's a Soto. Works out an 0 2 deficit. To draw the Nationals first walk and just their second base runner. The other base runner is Josh Bell who comes up now. As the one two is swung on hits the right side another two strike hit Juan Soto he's going to hit second and go to third as that's going to be an easy first to third for Juan Soto another two strike knock for Josh Bell. As he stands in here now at the age of 42 pitch swinging a ground ball to short should be two Rojas to second for one Wendell is all day throws to first completing the double play but that will get the Nationals on the board. The Marlins happen to make that trade though. Two outs for a run. Miguel Rojas to start inning number five against the right hander Josiah Gray and Miggy lines one. Fair just barely down the left field line. He's digging for second and he's going to have himself a stand up double. That ball it looked like it hit right on the foul line. 1-1 one, one. swung on rolled over third base. He checks out the runner at second fires the first for the out. Rojas dancing off the second base trying to distract Gray and then goes and a great jump he gets there easily. And this one is into shallow right in comes Soto makes a terrific catch Miggy tags and he will come in to score. Great play by Soto but the presence of mind for Rojas to get back to third and tag knowing that Soto was going to leave his feet. Swing and a miss Franco strikes out Trevor got him with a slider. For Trevor Rogers, his third strikeout in the game. He's gotten Franco twice. As Hernandez looks it over and it's low and inside, ball four. Garcia goes the other way, slaps from the left, coming on Birdie, and he makes the catch. Closing that one quickly for the second out. Taken, ball four. Good bat right there by A. Ray Adrianza. Partly, we're seeing it right now. The walks lead to damage because you try to come back over the plate. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And two on against Rodgers here in the bottom of the fifth inning. He struck him out. Great slider right there. He gets late. Thomas pumps his fist and gets through five. Avi Garcia, nothing in two. To the right side. 
and it's going to sneak through for a base hit. Ask again, and that'll be hit just as hard as the home run in St. Louis. What a <laughs> rocket right there. Go the opposite way and be on the struggle bus. Next stop, base hit left field. <laughs> There's your ace one and ace one A. That's with two on and nobody out here, and that is a hot shot past Franco into left field. Here comes Garcia. Throw from Adrianza. Off the mark and an RBI. An RBI hit for Anderson to make it 5 1 Marlins. And Miggy into center. That's going to get down for a base hit. Sanchez held up for a moment, so he'll stop at third, and the bases will be loaded. Ground ball. Hernandez has it. Miggy is out at second base. Birdie beats it out at first base, and another run scores. 3 0 to Wendell is outside, and they are loaded. Here comes Davey Martinez motions down to the Nationals bullpen for the Nationals Rosmo Ramirez. Yo one back pick over at first Josh Bell hammers it down. Does he get him. Yes he oh. does. Yes he does. Don Matting Lee is coming out. He wants to say make sure that Brian Anderson is so this is knowing the rules right here Al Padrique the third base coach making sure Brian Anderson left. His right hand is in, and then it comes Ooh, off. It comes off, and that's going to be the question. But where is the ball in the glove when the hand comes off? See now. So when he lifts up right there, he's out. After review, the call stands. The runner is out. Miami loses their challenge. And we got another back pick right there. Get his 64th walk of the season. 0-2 is hammered down the right field line. That's going to sneak by for a double at the minimum. Garcia is going to go pick this up. Juan's going to head around second, and then he's going to shut it down. Good choice by him as Avisil Garcia fired a strike to Joey Wendell, and Juan Soto with his 16th double of the season. It's a leadoff one. Kept him there at second base because of a pop up to short and a 5-3 put out. Second to batters, and they'll bring up Caber Ruiz. Here's the pitch. Swing a high drive, well hit right center field. Sanchez going back, looking up, and there it goes. Two run homer, K Bear Ruiz pulls the Nationals within six to three. K Bear with his third home run hits that in the first row. Cesar Hernandez is the batter. Slow roller to third base. Anderson's got it over to first, and it's a Marlins win. So they do come back after that exciting, exhilarating, emotional win in St. Louis on Wednesday. Even though they had the off day, they come back. They get uh, a three spot in the third inning, give Trevor Rogers a little bit of run support, and take the opener against the Washington Nationals. And the Marlins now improved to 9-1 against the Nats this year.